In this lecture, I will talk about scheduling for embedded system. In particular, I will talk about real-time scheduling. Why do we want to study real-time systems in a course about computer vision? Let me first show you a video. This is the 2020 IEEE Autonomous UAV Challenge. This was held on April 9, 2022 on Purdue campus. For this competition, an autonomous UAV has to follow a ground rover in an environment with obstacles. This UAV relies on computer vision to detect the movement of the rover and also the presence of obstacles. This competition has two stages. In the first stage, the contestants submit their programs. The programs are evaluated in a simulator. The purpose is to ensure that the programs can run, smooth, can run smoothly before we load them onto real physical UAVs. Each UAV costs more than $2,000. For safety and security, we want to make sure the software works. We load the software to the UAVs. Eight teams from Greece, China, India, Italy, Poland, Russia, South Korea, the United States submitted their solutions for the first stage. Among them, three teams are selected to enter the second stage. These three teams are from Russia, Italy, and Poland. In the second stage, their software is loaded to a real UAV is loaded to a real UAV as you can see in the video. When we planned this competition in late 2021, Purdue campus was still closed due to visitors due to COVID. Now Purdue campus is open. We plan to organize another competition in November 2022. We also want to invite teams as well as spectators. This competition was held at Purdue's UAV Research and Test Facility. This was originally an airplane hangar, and it is quite large. We purchased many large Lego blocks to create different types of obstacles. You can see from the photos to get a sense of the size of this lab. A person is standing at the end of the blocks. This is a video captured in the lab. From the video, you can see the size of the lab. The lab has a motion capture system. System can detect the locations of objects at millimeter precision, and the delay is within a millisecond. This is this is an indoor lab. Therefore, there is no risk of flying UAVs and interfering with passenger airplanes. 